Welcome back. The Dublin VA gave families of lost veterans a chance to say goodbye to their loved ones one last time. 41 NBC's Trisha Wooten was at the last roll call ceremony in Dublin today. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. You live and die to make me free. Ah. Our veterans must come first, you know. We have to make sure that they understand that that, uh, you know, what, what our veterans sacrificed for us. The center's chapel was filled with loved ones wanting to say goodbye one last time. The doctors and all for taking care of my father. He came here. Kadija Brown lost her dad, So Willie Hosley, August 20th of last year unexpectedly. She says seeing him transition from her easygoing father to a patient was extremely difficult. And I asked him, was he trying to leave us? And he said, no, I'm not going anywhere. A week later, he was dead. Kadijah broke down. I did. I cried. I cried like a baby. Brown and her dad's bond was unbreakable. Brown says the Army veteran relied on her for almost everything. If he was in pain, he would call me, get on the doctors, call the doctors, have the doctors to do this. I say, okay, daddy. Brown wouldn't have it any other way. Staff at the Dublin VA explains that although this is like revisiting a tragic moment in life, everyone should go through the process. Own the feeling. You need to talk about it. You need to express it. Because if you, if you internalize it, then it will eat you alive. Center says for both men and women, it's okay to cry and let go. That's exactly what Kadijah Brown did. In Dublin, Jatrissa Wooten, 41 NBC News. Um, Brown says she's not sure if she was her dad's favorite, but of her eight siblings, she always felt the love, and that's what she'll remember the most. I love that.